بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين To all our viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and we welcome you once again to this session of the Quran and its people where we are extremely grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for enabling us to spend some precious moments and some quality time with some of the scholars, teachers and reciters of the Holy Quran to learn more about them and to learn inshallah from them. Uh, this initiative is a collaboration between the South African National Zakah Fund, Sanzaf, and the Department of Quranic Affairs, the DQA, under the auspices of the Muslim Judicial Council, SA. And Alhamdulillah, I'm extremely happy to welcome our guest of the day. He's a unique gentleman who does not need any introduction and is a, a, a man in front of whom I grew up. I grew up in front of this gentleman. It's none other than Sheikh Ibrahim Gabriels. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa Sheikh Ismail. It's a great honor and a privilege for me to be here, and especially when it uh, when, when the topic is around the Quran. Alhamdulillah. Well, Alhamdulillah. The honor is all our Sheikh mm -hmm. that Sheikh has afforded us of Sheikh's uh, time and given us an opportunity to engage with Sheikh. I pray that the session be of great benefit to all Amen. who who listen and that inspires. Uh, even at least one individual to draw even closer to the Book of Allah. Amen. 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 Sheikh, for those who may not be familiar mm. or aware, if Sheikh would oblige the, the viewers to, to briefly um, introduce Sheikh Self. MashaAllah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidi al-Mursaleen wa Imam al-Muttaqeen Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my name is Ibrahim and my surname is Gabriels and the name of my Honorable Father is Haji Muhammad Qasim and the uh, name of my beloved and Honorable Mother is Haji Hadima. Uh, may Allah grant both of them and all our parents Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen, Rabbil And I was born in uh, Claremont in Wesley Street in 1955. MashaAllah. And uh, According to my ID, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm born the 7th of December 1955. Is it? But uh, my actual uh, birth date is 28th of July. <laughs> <laughs> so my father went to register me, but late. Oh, okay. Uh, nevertheless, uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, Claremont <coughs> uh, was such a, a beautiful community, a wonderful community. It's a pity of the Group Aries Act that oh. we had to move or be forcibly removed from Claremont to a place called uh, Primus Park Extension 17. Okay. That is between Surrey State and Manenburg. Okay. So you have the big Primrose Park. Yes. But between Aris Road, Surrey State, and Manenburg, they build uh, houses there and they call it Primrose Park Extension 17. 17. But it's actually Surrey State. Okay. So um, yes, yeah, so, so 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 my my, my, my first learning in, in, in Claremont, my uncle uh, Imam Hassan Abdurrahman. He, he was um, Hafiz al Quran. So we will be exposed to uh, Tarawih, full Tarawih. Wow. Yeah, in Ramadan. So sometimes I was a bit naughty. Then I, 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 I go to the lands of the road to hike to Stegman Road because Stegman Road didn't read the whole Quran. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, I also met Imam Abdullah Harun Rahmatullah Ali in Allah. Stegman Road. Yeah, so an Imam Abdur Hassan Abdurrahman's father, uh, it is said by uh, Sheikh uh, um, uh, Nawawi Fandaras, Rahmatullah Alayhi, that one particular night, <coughs> uh, 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 Imam Hassan's father was late, and, and at that time they were reading was the whole Quran. So they said to him, Ya Ustaz, you came late, and there's 14 Jews left. Yeah, the 14 Jews. It's all yours. It's all yours. <laughs> they said he put the cushion between his two legs and he started to read the 14 inches. That was that, subhanAllah. Was that at Harvey Road? Uh, Harvey Road. Harvey Road. Tamam. Yes, so, uh, shukran for that uh, brief intro, Sheikh, yeah. regarding Sheikh's upbringing. But now, Sheikh mentioned Claremont. Yeah. And then Sheikh mentioned the, the Aris Road side to Saudi State, the extension 17. Yeah. Um, at what age did Sheikh and the family, or how old was Sheikh when the Sheikh and the family moved to that? 
extension. I was uh, 16 years old. 16. Okay. Yeah, so but, but but before before moving to Promise Park, I think it's important to mention that at the time when I was a young boy, for, for example, between 8 and, and 16, uh, uh, 14 years old, it was very difficult to learn how to read the Quran. Allah. I couldn't grasp. That, uh, for example, Alif do a detas an Alif do a bawa Alif an in un. I couldn't. T uh, so my my beloved uncle is is my father's only brother, Ami Yusuf, that I love, mashallah, dearly. So my my Ami Yusuf <coughs> went to Abu Tasad Abrams here in Home Estate. Abu Tasad Abrams used to stay in Makkah. Uh, and he he was in Makkah at the same time as Sheikh Nazim and and, and these Mashaikh. Mashallah. But, but he lived with his family. So when he came back to Cape Town, he had a class for certain people. My, 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 fortunately, my, my uncle, uncle was one of those people. Students in the class. So yeah. he taught them the Yassar al Quran. Okay. And at that time, we call it the Big Surat. Okay. You know? And so my uncle taught me you know, how to read the Quran. Mashallah. Myself, Shaykh Abu Bakr, all my brothers. MashaAllah. And, and, and I'm so indebted to my uncle. Mashallah. I would never forget him, subhanAllah, Mashallah. because he's my first teacher. Mashallah. And, and, and I always say that whatever I know now is because of my uncle that taught me how to read the Quran. Mashallah. That's Ami Yusuf. Ami Yusuf. So before 16 years old and before the move out yeah. to extension 17, this all happened in Claremont. It all happened in Claremont. Yeah. There were classes, but they were ayaring, they were alif dua, right, etc. Yeah. And it so happened that uh, Sheikh's uh, father, Haji Muhammad Qasim mm. al Marhum, his brother Ami Yusuf, learned by this gentleman, Saad, Saad studied in Makkah with Sheikh Nazim and yeah. them, and he came back and taught the Yasan al Quran. That's right. Allah's yeah. decree, Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Yeah. So that was at a young age, Sheikh learned by Sheikh's. Uh, one and only paternal uncle. That's right. Uh, yeah. okay. Sheikh mentioned uh, Imam Hassan Abdurrahman. I never yeah. heard his name before. Yeah. Uh, so he, he was completely hafiz. He was completely hafiz. He did the uh, complete uh, tarawih at Harvey Road. At Harvey Road, full Quran. And uh, but Sheikh also mentioned that he's related to Sheikh. Yeah, he's my he's my my mother's first cousin. Mother's side or the yeah, mother's my first my cousin. My mother's first cousin. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's uh, one of the benefits of <coughs> these sessions is. Um, not to not to uh, keep these names alive, but yeah. but to mention these, these these people and to mention of their contribution and at least to to make one dua Allah increases the nur in the qubur mm -hmm. and to record mm. this for the generations that are yeah. currently learning Quran that have exposure to so much in the world but they, yeah. they lack exposure to their own history. Subhanallah. It's the idea. Yeah. So look at this gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> and then when Anavavi from the Rosti, when he came late the one night, they told him, no, you uh, fear four, four, fourteen juices. Fourteen juices is Yona. That's right, yeah. And and uh, and sometimes for uh, as young children we in, in Ramadan for Fajr Salah, there were some mornings that we had a long Fajr Salah because Allah Allah. you know Hassan if you had made the mistake last night with the Tarawih, <laughs> you would read the Makra again. Allahu Akbar. The, the next morning, or the two Makras. He sounded okay. like he was a perfectionist. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Subhanallah. So I take it in, Allah yeah. I take it in the Wesley Street yeah. in Claremont is on the Harvey Road side of Claremont. Yeah, that no, so side? after Wesley Street, closer? we moved to Durham Street. But, but I mean, it's closer to Harvey than what it is to Stichman. That's right, yeah. Closer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the... So that's why th that Claymont was called Second Avenue Claymont. Okay. Or they call it the Flak. The Flak, okay. So there was a Claymont, uh, the side of Stichman Road and Main Road, uh, okay. Masjid. And then we were at, at, at the Flak, at the Second Avenue the Claymont, yeah. Near to Livingston. Near to, I know <coughs> where Livingston, yeah, is. Livingston okay, yeah. Livingston is, okay. And Harvey is just behind Livingston. That's right, yeah. Livingston. That's right, yeah. Okay. Um, so we touched on uh, a few things already, alhamdulillah. Sheikh mentioned Sheikh was born in 1955. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and the issue of the, of the, the date of birth, it's, it's intriguing. That's how the authorities were back That's then right and yeah. how things were, yeah. were accepted. But as Muhammad Qasim, yeah. Ami Yusuf and all. Yeah, the madrasa was at the Masjid Avi Road. Avi Road. Yeah. They, so they, he we, taught there? No, no, that was private at, uh, at our house. Oh, My but, uncle stayed but the, with us. But the madrasa at Avi Road was the one where they were teaching Ali, Alif Dua Detas. That's right, yeah. yeah. Ah. And then there we learn our fiqh and... Uh, I, I still I still can remember uh, the Tashawd, I still remember from from, uh, from Avi Road Masjid. <laughs> I remember it up till now. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. How it was repeated and uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. taught there. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's amazing what's, what's, uh, what gets engraved from the yeah. young age. That's right. And the Sheikh is speaking about uh, the ages of six, seven, eight, around that time already, the madrasa? That's right, yeah. From an early age, yeah. And where Ami Yusuf 
we he told their son Quran it was privately at home private for the family. Home. Private home. He, so he was working. Okay. So after work he would uh, teach us at, at home. Yeah. Subhanallah. Tayyib Sheikh. Mm. So now Sheikh has completed primary, Sheikh is in high school and yeah. there the group areas act and the whole family has to move out and it's there to a new area. Yeah. But um, it's there on that side of Sari estate. That's right. Close to the masjid. Close to the masjid. Yeah. And um, we're looking at we're looking at the 70, just 70, late 60s, early 70s? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah, l late um, 60s, late early 60s. 70s. It's about 14, yeah. 15 years yes, old, 16, right, yeah. 16, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and was, I mean, I, I was grew still, up. I was still at high school. So high when school, we were yes. re forcibly removed. Moved. And the high school had to change. You had to go to a different high school that side. No, no, so, so we travel every day from from that Thomas side? Thomas to Oakland's High School. Allahu Akbar. Uh, yeah, Oakland's High School, yeah. My, my, we were close to Livingston High. Right. But because my, further, my father knew that there are uh, some atheist teachers at Livingston. Okay. Uh, so he thought, no, it's better for you to go to Oakland's. Yes, Allah. So that, that's was why his, that was a deciding factor. Yeah. Why yeah. Oakland's? Oakland's, yeah. Oakland's High School, yeah. And that yeah. speaks of his, uh, his passion for Dean first. It was academic studies, yeah. but your yeah. Iman mustn't be at risk That's there. right, yeah. That's right. So then Sheikh would travel and the brother, siblings, so all from Promus Park, Park to Oakland. To, 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 to Oakland, yeah. yeah. But I wanted to come to Sari Estate in particular. I can't remember, Sheikh, mm. meeting Imam Ismail Johnstone. Mm. Yeah. Allah But I, 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 I met his, his sons and his yeah. family, yeah. other children. And um, they have a beautiful, obviously, a manner about them. Yeah. And I've been told that, my father even told me, yeah. that uh, uh, you see their father in them. Yeah. Um, and I heard he was a, a man that was a, a passion for deen. Yes. And there are certain things that our, our Muslim community back then may have regarded as acceptable that he, that he, was, he was strong and firm. Mm about, for example, how, how certain ladies maybe wore their scarves That's or right. the links of their, their dresses. Right. From that time already, right. speaking of the 60s, yeah. he would speak about and they must cover themselves better, etc. And he was known for his Arabic. Yes. But now Sheikh moved, the family moved to that side of Saudi yeah. estate. Was he Imam at the Masjid at that time already? At that time he was the Imam. So what happened Sheikh at that time? Mm -hmm. So when people were forcibly removed, they would they would come all the way from Promise Park to Plymon for for Jumu'ah. Okay. Yeah. So for example, people that went to Mitzvah's Plain, they would still come to the Azawiya or they come to uh, Sheikh Shakir's Masjid, yes. Aspling Street. Because they're muriks of the. Of That's the masjid. right. Yeah. So one day, my father, because he's a tailor, he, he was he, he was running late. Okay. So he couldn't make it for Plymon, so he went to Sari State Masjid for Jumu'ah, and the the rest is history. <laughs> He thought, but subhanallah, look at this man. MashaAllah. Look at the lessons that you learn. So Masha from Allah. that moment onwards, all of us, we attended Sari State Mosque. SubhanAllah. Okay. And then we came to learn uh, who Imam Ismail is. And we went there, tafsir class, every Saturday night. And Masha the reason Allah. why Imam had it on a Saturday night is because uh, at that time there was a, thumb, a, a, a thing called a Saturday night fever. Uh, you must go out and you must, you know, and, uh, yeah. You must just enjoy you on a Saturday night. So Imam's uh, uh, um, motivation was, if you are serious about learning the tafsir of the Quran, Allah. you would sacrifice your Saturday night. Allah. People that are serious and sincere, they would come. Subhanallah. So Imam had people from all over. Mashallah. Imam Shafiq Jacobs. Yes. And uh, Dr. Yusuf Laukan. MashaAllah. And so many others from Salt River here, from Salt River. They would travel go every all Saturday the way night. To to, yeah, Saturday night, yeah. And then, of course, Imam had his Arabic classes at his house, you know. Uh, Imam had, had too many classes, at afternoon classes, adult classes every day, you know. And, and um, yeah, and, and that, that might have led to his uh, brain hemorrhage, un unfortunately. Is it? Yeah, that might have led, yeah, because Imam was so busy. Allah and, and, one, uh, and just to go a bit back to Imam's uh, uh, um, student days, uh, he, he left school when he was in grade 5 or grade 6 primary school. He, he became a plasterer, and then his, his aunt, Auntie Mamuna, rahmatullah alayhi, her husband, Bata Ahmad, said to him, uh, Ismail, why don't you go study Nahu? So the first time he heard about Nahu. 
and, and alhamdulillah, Allah granted him one of the greatest ustas, Sheikh Ismail Hanif. Mashallah, Edwards. Edwards. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. So Imam would come from, from uh, um, uh, Kenwin, but it's called, that, that time it was called Samboklan. Yes. You know, yeah. And then he would, he would, we would stand at a bus stop. They say that the lady opposite that saw him almost every night, she became jealous for, I, for Imam Ismail's girlfriend because <laughs> she thought that he's going to a, a, a girlfriend because he was dressed like, ah. yeah, he was dressed like, you know, a person going to a wedding, for example, wow. every time. Because that was his approach to knowledge. Allahu Akbar. And I think that's an important lesson for, for young people to know. Your opera, so, and because that was his approach, he says for two years he didn't understand whatever Sheikh Ismail is saying. And, and one day when he was uh, on, 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 on the site, on the building, plastering, Allah opened up everything. Allahu Akbar. And he was writing, Fa'ala, Yaf'alu, everything on, <laughs> uh, while he's busy plastering. <laughs> Subhanallah. And that's amazing. Subhanallah. And he became one of the best Arabic teachers. Masha'Allah. He didn't go to Cairo or to Medina yeah, or outside. He learned Arabic here. And I think that should be a great motivation for everybody. Definitely. That, that uh, Imam, he was, uh, you know, a, a, a master in teaching Arabic. Masha'Allah. And whenever he taught, or whenever he was teaching, while he was teaching in front, he was he's making to oh, Allah grant my students Allahu to have a better understanding than me. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, that was that was Imam Ismail, Subhanallah. Yeah, so uh, so so we became very uh, close to, to Imam Ismail, and and uh, and maybe a secret that I can tell. So while we were doing hifs, uh, maybe Sheikh is coming late to that. <coughs> so um, I, I would first go to Imam's Imam Imam had the liking in me. Mashallah. Subhanallah. So uh, uh, before we go to the Khifs uh, class by Sheikh Hanif Moors, I would pop in by Imam. And so that morning, Imam said to me in, in his lounge, <coughs> Ibrahim, I dreamt of you last night. Yes, that you are memorizing Surah to tour And I was, I was memorizing Surah to tour And he had no idea he had before no idea. that. Yeah. Yes, he, he, I was almost repeating my, preparing my lesson. And yes. he was most probably hearing that I, I'm reading Surah to tour yes, He said, I dreamt of you last night. That you, you, you are memorizing Surah Tutur. Subhanallah. Other link, other link. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I was going to ask Sheikh if Sheikh yeah. knew of where Imam Ismail Johnson learned, and then Sheikh mentioned uh, Sheikh Ismail Hanif Edwards. Um, but, but it speaks of his dedication and Sheikh uh, about his manner of presenting himself also to learn yeah. Deen, wearing his best, etc., making effort. And he was on, on, I mean, he was a construction worker. A construction worker. And, and Ima, Sheikh Ismail would t tell his family, the class started at 8 o'clock. He would tell his family, if I open the door now, Ismail will stand out there. Sheikh Ismail, Hanif Edwards used to say. Say to his family, that if, if, I I open, if I open my door now, Ismail, Ismail will, Johnstone will, is ready. He is, 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 will be waiting to come yes in. Yes, And Imam Ismail, after class, if he didn't understand, he would walk from Woodstock. All the way, he, will, he won't take the bus unless he, he, he understands the lesson. <laughs> and sometimes he don't, he, he don't grasp it, he would walk from Woodstock to, to Kenwin, to some Bokland. Yeah, Allah, yeah. trying to work trying through to the work information. Out, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, and and, and it, all, it all bore fruits. It showed yeah. his benefits yeah. in later years when he himself taught. That's right. And his manner of teaching and how so many benefited from him. Yeah, and look at uh, the benefit that Allah has granted him. His understanding of Arabic, would, he could, I mean, tafsir, tafsir the Quran Akbar. every Saturday night. In so Saturday night, Imam would in, in his front room, all the tafsir of would Qurtubi and uh, uh, you know Zamakhshari. Uh, uh, Allah Allah. Uh, uh, his, uh, his whole um, lounge be full of uh, preparing for tonight. Yes, yeah, Alhamdulillah. So we really benefited a lot uh, from, from Imam Ismail, alhamdulillah. Oh, that's amazing. Um, in that period, Sheikh yeah. is now a young adult yeah. Yeah. growing up. Sheikh matriculates yeah. and Sheikh is continuing to study by him. But Sheikh meets colleagues and Sheikh met uh, Sheikh Hanif Moos also there. Sheikh Hanif Moos used to uh, attend also the tafsir class. Okay. Yeah, on a certain night. So uh, uh, Imam then asked him uh, if he can teach Imam's children uh, 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 Hifz Quran part time, uh, and there is where my journey started uh, where, where the Hifz is concerned. Okay. I'm so sure. every Saturday afternoon, we would travel from Imam's house to Weinberg in Garden Road, where Sheikh Sheikh Hanif still lives. Alhamdulillah, and 
I would say the little tajubi that I know is the barakah of Sheikh Hanif Moos. Sheikh Hanif Moos is an, an excellent teacher, oh, subhanAllah. Oh, without so, a doubt. Yeah, so alhamdulillah. So, so, and and it, just, it, it, it just shows, and, and, and I think it's, it's good that we have this program, Sheikh, because maybe some teachers can also realize what the, what the part-time class can do also for the mm. community. I'm, I'm a product from a, a, a part-time part class, class on a Saturday afternoon, you yeah, understand? And that was a motivation for me, so I, I also work for Norwich Union. So he was working at the time? I was working at the time, yeah. And this is now Saturday afternoons with the Hifd yeah. and Saturday evenings with the Tafsir. That's right, yeah. What, what, what uh, company she was working for? Norwich Union Insurance. Norwich Un Insurance. And so in the Tafsir class, Imam did the eyes of, of a river. Ah, interest. Yeah, so, so interest money, yeah. So I didn't realize, without Imam telling me, leave this job. He didn't Sada. tell me. So I decided on my own, I'm, I'm not going to work for a, a, a company that still with riba and interest. Yes, yeah, understand? And then I started to do to, to, uh, uh, full-time khifs with uh, Sheikh Hanif. Wow, mashallah. Yeah, full-time khifs. Yeah, <laughs> oh, uh, but, uh, before we continue, Sheikh, yeah. um, uh, Sheikh mentioned something or, uh, before our, our interaction yeah. here of a particular system or method that uh, Sheikh Ismail Johnstone used to use even when teaching the basics of Arabic letters in yeah. the alphabet. Yeah, so Imam Ismail was very eager that uh, uh, especially adults should, should able, be able to read the Quran. Okay. He used to say in this day and age when people have, have gone to the moon, <laughs> how can it be possible that Muslims can't read the Quran? Allah, Allah. So he was very eager to teach adults. <laughs> there, wasn't, there were enough uh, madrasa classes for children. Okay. So Imam had a, a special system how he taught uh, how to read the Quran. So um, he, for example, would um, teach his first lesson will be uh, three three letters of the of, of the of the Arabic okay. alphabet. It will be seen, ta, and ra. So you would, and then he would write like he uh, would teach you if you give the letter on, on the on the board, but he, he, he teach you how to write also. Ah. So you must come with a book and a pencil right. okay. and a rubber. He says <laughs> if, you, if you write if you make a mistake, you can erase, make, uh, erase it. Yeah. So so then he would, for example, the scene. He wouldn't make the scene like we. Uh, make the scene like quickly. Okay. He would like one line like this, a straight line, straight uh -huh. line, straight line, because everybody can make a straight line. Yes. Yeah. So so that is your start. Give them some confidence. Yeah. With a ta also, with a ta, uh -huh. a straight line like this, straight line, straight line. There's uh -huh. a ta, uh, two dots. Tamam. You know, and then the ra also, yeah. And then at the same time, the same evening, the first night, Imam will give and tell you that there are three sounds in the Arabic language. It's a ah. And the i, and the u, yeah, and and he, ma he makes he makes a, he makes an occasion of it. <laughs> <laughs> he used he to enjoy himself when teaching. Yeah, it's like yeah, no, no, he was a brilliant teacher, subhanallah. And, and then, then he, he would add the the vowels. Then the, the vowels, so so a scene with the a is sa, ah. repeated every time. A ta with the a is ta, mm -hmm. a ra with the a is ra. Tama. So it's the words is sa ta ra. Everybody must now say in the class. Say after me, sa ta ra, sa ta ra. And then he will come with a hadith. Allah, Allah, so it's a, Allah. a spiritual, it's a spiritual, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, a, a spiritual uh, journey, a journey right. also. Uh. So a lesson. So, so you give the word satara, and you say the, the meaning of satara is to conceal. Allah, Allah, Allah. And then he comes with a hadith. Rasulullah says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "Man satara Musliman satara Allah fi dunya wal akhirah." Yes, Allah. And so ever conceals. The, the, the wrongdoings and faults of a Muslim, then Allah will concede your wrongdoings in this world and in the Akhirah. Allah, Allah. So, so myself they, and Sheikh they, they came for learning letters. That's right. They get the vowels as well, they get the meaning as well, and they and get hadith, some hadith. hadith yeah. uh, Sheikh and Sheikh Irfan. So myself and Sheikh Irfan being uh, uh, students of Imam Ismail, and um, so um, we, 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 take the same, we took the same route. Ah, yeah. mashallah. Sheikh Rafan had for, for, for years the class in Sari State. He continued the legacy of Imam Ismail. Uh, while I was in Sari State, I had my first adult class in Pakut Masjid. Mashallah. Where Imam Farid Mani used to be the oh, Imam. <coughs> and it was a big class, subhanAllah. You know, uh, people up till now would still remember, subhanAllah. Also for Arabic reading, for Quranic reading. For, uh, for Quran reading. And also the ahadith. Mashallah. Uh, but uh, Yusuf, uh, what is his surname again? I'll get to this. Maybe I'll get to the surname. He was the chairman of the masjid, and uh, and and he was hospitalized in Tigerberg Hospital. So, uh, <coughs> so the, yeah, as you know, Muslims have a lot of visitors, 
So after the visiting hours, the nurse will come to him and say, why are there a lot of people? You know? Then he would tell them a hadith that we done in the class. Allahu Akbar. About how important is the, 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 right. the, the rights of a Muslim. <laughs> <Over another Muslim. laughs> and, and we did all, uh, he had it all in a book. Nah. You know. And then he would tell the nurses, this is what Islam says. Allahu this is Akbar. what the Prophet Muhammad says, that Allah, you know, Allah. it is one of the rights of a Muslim. If he's sick, then we must go visit him. MashaAllah, beautiful. So, uh, yeah, and I had, I had class in Pontival, in Tafelsig, Menenburg, alhamdulillah. So, yeah, alhamdulillah. That's the barakah of Imam Ismail, Mashallah. who had that himma, that concern of people must learn the Quran, they must Mashallah. read the Quran. And may Allah grant uh, at our sitting here today that so many people will be encouraged. Amen. Uh, those who can't read, it's not too late to, to learn to how to read the Quran. You Tell know, me. my father at a very late age started to learn. Because as I've said, when I was a young boy, it was so difficult to learn the Quran. But my father, alhamdulillah, at a, my, I think my father was 55 or 60 years old when he started to read the Quran. Wow. And it was so beautiful when he, uh, in his last years, whenever you come to Bua, we call him Bua. Whenever you come to Bua's house, Bua will sit in the lounge, and the busy Quran. with the Quran, Allah, you know. So, so that is what we want, uh, you know, people to, th the last part of their lives to be busy Allah. with the Quran, you know. The last part of their lives must be the, the best part of best their lives. Best part, best part, yeah. What happened uh, when Ms. Mail Johnstone got sick? She mentioned a hemorrhage. Yeah. What happened to the classes and the students so, after so, so after Imam came out of the hospital, subah, amazingly, Imam still wanted to teach. Allahu Akbar. Uh, he, uh, he then opened a class in Belleville South. Yeah, after after having that operation, you know, but but then he uh, he was uh, he was not able to teach us, you know, and then, but even while he was in hospital, he then uh, 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 guided us and directed us to Sheikh Amin Fakir, mashallah, uh, and to Sheikh Nazi Muhammad, mashallah, and his, his his top student Sheikh Ibrahim Stienkam was still alive. Mashallah. So so we 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 went to he lived in 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 Heidefell, you know the flats. Yes, yes. He sacrificed his small little, uh, you know, out of smaller flats in in in, uh, in, in Edofel, you know. Uh, we were uh, myself, Ismail, my brother Ismail, Sheikh Abu Bakr, uh, another neighbor, the Suleiman, opposite us. We were sitting in that class, and yes, that was so meaningful. This uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Stienkamp was one of the senior students of of Imam Ismail, Ismail. Of the first, and he's still alive, Sheikh. He's still alive, yeah. He's still alive. He lives Allah. in Portland now. Wow, mashallah. <laughs> yeah. So Sheikh. Um, I had left the, the, the work at the insurance company. Yeah. Sheikh was full-time by, by Sheikh Hanif. Yes. And then the Saturday evenings were now with other classes with Sheikh uh, Muhammad Amin Fakir. Sa uh, Saturday afternoon in Yorkrod Masjid. Yorkrod Sheikh Muhammad Amin Fakir. Sheikh Muhammad Amin Fakir. Uh, yeah, uh, tafsir Allah. also and Allah fiqh. Allah Akbar. And, so and that must have been also, uh, that was Sheikh's first exposure to Sheikh Muhammad Amin Fakir. That's right. Sheikh yeah. hadn't interacted with him before. No, 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 no. I, I knew Sheikh Amin Fakir, ah. but I mean, uh, so, so, and then it came so, Sheikh, that one afternoon after class, Sheikh Ami Fakir asked Sheikh Irfan, uh, did your application came through from, from uh, were you accepted from Medina? So he said, Sheikh, no, I didn't receive uh, any notification yet. So Sheikh asked me, Ibrahim, why did you apply? Who come apply to me? Yes, Salah. I said, Sheikh, can I apply for Medina? <laughs> he said, yes, of course. I'll write you a testimonial. Yes, Salah. Six months after that, Sheikh, I received, alhamdulillah. Yes, Salah. Uh, I've been accepted to Medina. That was most, most probably the, the best moment in my life. Allah, Allah. And my Allah, nine Allah. years in, my, in Medina to Menorah was ahla ayami. MashaAllah. The most uh, joyous and most, the best time of my life, Mashallah. subhanAllah. So, so we're at that phase now. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we get to Sheikh's journey to Medina, when was Sheikh Nazim's classes? Sheikh Nazim's classes was also on a Saturday morning. So ah, it all happened on a Saturday. Mashallah. Saturday morning. And then at that time, Sheikh Nazim was teaching uh, uh, um, uh, many people like Imam Umar. Um, Abdullah? Imam Abdullah. Ah. Um, uh, but uh, Imam, uh, what's it, Imam's name? Yeah. A lot of Imams, a lot of Imams. Uh, Sheikh Hanif, Sheikh Hanif, Sheikh Hanif was, was also in the class of, of Sheikh, Sheikh Nazim Muhammad. Where yeah. were those classes? In, in, uh, in, in, in the house of Sheikh Nazim. Uh, the in Weinberg. In Weinberg, yeah. yeah. So Sheikh's relationship with Sheikh Nazim started before Medina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, myself and Sheikh Arfan, is amazingly, when we were young people, uh, people were speaking bad about the ulama of the MCC, and we phoned Sheikh Nazim and said, Sheikh, we're so worried. We, we, how, how can people speak so ugly about the ulama? Can, can we come and meet Sheikh? 
So sê sê jy ek aan my uh, in-laws in Woodstock. Sê jy sê jy so vrabeer en so and so we met. Sê jy daar sien. This was even before the classes. Yeah, that's long before we yes. that's before we went How to Badina. How old was Sheikh and Sheikh Rafael when more or less? 17 18. Yes, I yes. yeah. yeah. And I had a conversation with him and yeah. and he was a man of charisma. Subhanallah. He was yeah. a man that stood out naturally uh, as it, it was aura about it him. It was also uh, even the Cape Herald said the most best dress uh, oh, oh, oh. Sheikh in the whole of Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> and Allah yeah. gave him some beautiful height also, so he, he carried himself beautiful, Allah. 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 Yeah. But now, so that was the experience, Sheikh, that experience with uh, uh, Sheikh Rafan also calling Sheikh Nazim out of the blue, yeah. random young gentleman want yes. to meet, etc. Yeah. And um, and then the classes now after Sheikh uh, Imam Ismail Johnstone uh, yeah. was not well any longer. Yeah. The, the idea of, of, of studying in Medina never crossed Sheikh's heart or mind. Just no, so no, in no. passing. In pass, this is passing Allah. with Sheikh Muhammad Amin Qadr Allah. He's, he's just asked me, Ibrahim, why, why don't you apply? <laughs> I said, Sheikh, can I apply? Allah <laughs> Akbar. And Sheikh yeah. was available to go then. And then Sheikh, yeah. uh, who, who, who was with Sheikh in that group? Sheikh Rafan was with? Sheikh Rafan and, uh, and Sheikh Samuel Pandey from, from Port Elizabeth. From Port Elizabeth. And uh, Sheikh Dawood uh, David's, Sheikh Umar David's brother. Oh, from Grassy Park? We, we were the four accepted uh, that particular year. Yeah. yeah. And so, so you must also remember that at the same time, um, after the dream of Imam Ismail, of Surah Tour, Surah Tour I, I, I thought to myself, this is an indication to me that uh, uh, Imam will accept a proposal to his daughter Aisha. MashaAllah. That, that is, that is where, in Sheikh's mind. That is my interpretation of the dream. <laughs> <laughs> And so, so my wife was very young. Okay. Uh, I mean, um, and she was very young. So um, I, I also knew that they, there's a lot of others, a lot of other, other people interest. So uh, if I'm not going to say know, something, jump the gun, or yeah. make an uh, effort, then I might lose out, and I don't want to lose out the honor to be the son of Imam Ismail. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. And so my father said, uh, 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 that is now 12, 12, 30 the night, everybody's sleeping at, at home. I'm walking up and down uh, the, the, passage? the pieces of the house. Am I going to ask now or not? So I decided, no, let's go. go. And so I woke, woke my father up and, and my mother and said, uh, Abi, I'm interested. Uh, can Abi go to Imam? <laughs> my boy said, uh, Aisha's a very good girl, but she's still young. Wait, ma, wait, ma. So I told Sheikh Rafan. Uh -huh. My father said, I must wait. And Sheikh Fan said, Sheikh, I, I, I'll speak to Imam. Yes, I love. <laughs> <laughs> that was the right thing to do. That was the right thing to do. And so um, the next day, Imam uh, uh, Ismail said to my father, But the Qasim, we need to talk. Wow, wow, now, wow. Imam Ismail, um, all the people call my father Qasim. You know, in Kingdom was Qasim, but not Imam Ismail. You must say Qasim. MashaAllah. Qasim, not Qasim. Yeah, no. Uh, and and, and uh, not, not Muhammad Nur, Muhammad Nur. Noor. Every 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 name must be correctly yeah, expressed. Correctly expressed, yeah. And so uh, Alhamdulillah, so there was an engagement. Mashallah. And so when they came back uh, from from Imam's house, my father said, uh, Imam said, in a month's time. Wow. So there was silence in our lounge. Yes, salam. So my one aunt, Auntie Khawa, Auntie Khawa from Cape Town, see it on the table. Buta, take them on. <laughs> challenge we can take do them it. on take them on if they say a month a month mashallah yeah so uh, this was now just before the just, just before Medina. This, uh, uh, the application was but i didn't Sent. i didn't yeah. no response, yet. response yeah. okay so the date was set mashallah. For the nikah. and then the application came through i'm accepted yes Allah. so now i'm in a yeah yeah so uh my parents went to imam said imam um, ibrahim has been accepted in Medina. mashallah Imam said, no, but we have set the date. <laughs> Imam was a very, you know, uh, Firm, a man of principle. Man of principle. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so, luckily, Allah granted uh, Sheikh Muni, uh, Sheikh um, uh, Ismu, uh, Allahumma salli ala sayyidina ma'ala. I think Sheikh Munir, he studied in Mecca. And he came to visit uh, my, my, my father-in-law, Imam Ismail. And Imam said, uh, you know, we've got this problem. He said, Imam, my advice would be that Ibrahim go first, alone, right? When he come back, then you can have an idea what is happening. Ah, that's Get right. a place to stay for. No. But if he, if he, if for example, goes now with her, 
you know, get married and go, and he's got no idea. True. And Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seen the right advice. person. You know. no, alhamdulillah. So I went. She got married first? No, no, I, I, was, I was engaged. Oh, engaged. When? So at the end of 1978, December. MashaAllah. Uh, myself and Sheikh Alfan went. <coughs> MashaAllah. So to, uh, July coming back, 20th of July, I got married. MashaAllah. And then my wife went with me. She uh, stayed with me for eight years, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. <coughs> and Allah granted us five children. Whilst they? <coughs> whilst we are there, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So Medina, just those first few, Sheikh had not been mm. to Medina or Makkah before. No, that. It was the first, was the first, first time. time. In fact, when I received my ticket from British Airways, in, in Foso, Cape Town. I was too afraid to cross the road. Afraid that anything happens? Everything happens and I, 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 don't, I don't get to Medina. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> the excitement. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. In, the, in, that, in that first period, uh, the Sheikh was there. Mm. They have a, a unique system where they have the Shu'ba program for yeah. the non-Arabs to acclimatize them to the culture, etc. and yeah. to teach them the fundamentals of conversational That's Arabic right, yeah. <coughs> before um, you go into any like formal studies. That's right, yeah. Um, the Shoba program is, is generally two about years. two years. Two years, Shoba Sheikh, to Lugaya. But, but uh, Sheikh and Sheikh Rafan, who was also Sheikh's colleague by Ismail, had some tools, yeah. had some background, so it must have helped. That helped a lot, Sheikh. A that lot, That helped eh? a lot, SubhanAllah. Allah. Alhamdulillah. Ease the way. So it Beco a, yeah. Because people won't, won't understand that you're learning Arabic, yeah. but you're learning Arabic via Arabic. That's right, yeah. The teacher teaching you Arabic Only speaking in Arabic. Arabic. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have yeah. at least some uh, background, some background, you're totally yes. lost. Yeah, totally lost, no. yeah. So that helped a lot, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the the Shu'ba program was done. Sheikh then went to the formal studies and Sheikh then was accepted for the, which faculty of study in uh, So So, so we had a choice. <coughs> uh, to, to go from Shoba to Lugha to university. But myself and Sheikh Rafan, to, to strengthen our Arabic more before we get to the college, because the okay. college is, is, uh, is universities, no. high level. So, so we opted to go uh, to do, like we say uh, in, in Cape Town, grade 10, grade 11, and 12. Oh, mashallah. Madhah Thanwi. Ah, that's the higher school, higher academic High study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, so that was a, 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 a good very decision. good decision. Very good decision. We had more exposure to the fit and to, to more to the, the Nahu and all the other subjects. Excellent. You know. Uh, just just, um, <coughs> just strengthening the foundation. Yeah. Before going. So those were three years. Yeah. After the two years after of Shoba. Yeah. And Shoba was, it was only, it was primarily focused on the language, the, sh the first yeah, two yeah, years. Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, uh, in fact, in, at that time, um, they they did the Arabic language through <coughs> uh, hadith oh, beautiful. And, and fiqh and no, you know no. afterwards they changed it more to conversational Arabic. Okay, I yeah, understand. But, but we uh, our time still they added old system where they teach you hadith and, and all this uh, and then you learn words through hadith and through eyes of the Quran and that oh, type of beautiful. thing. Yeah, yeah. So the two <coughs> years of the shu'ba, three years of the higher academic studies, yeah. and then the Kulia. Four years of Kulia. F Faculty of Sharia, yeah. MashaAllah, <coughs> Sharia. So y you have to make a choice between uh, uh, Kulia al Quran, uh, Faculty of Quran, Faculty of Language, Faculty of Hadith, Faculty of Sharia. <coughs> Sheikh Alfan chose uh, Faculty of Lugha, Arabic language. language, and I uh, took uh, Sharia. Sh Sharia, alhamdulillah. And, and so, it, so in, the, in the high school, you have to memorize two juz. That is compulsory. Per year. Per year, yeah. I was going to ask now, <coughs> in the entire program, besides the Arabic done in Shu'ba, yeah. what have the memorized, was there any memorization requirement for the high school and for the Sharia? So yeah. Sheikh mentioned so, so, two so Jews per year. So, but two, two Jews per year, yeah. So we had to, uh, for the high school, uh, uh, six Jews for the three for years. The three years. Yeah. And for the uh, four years in, 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 in uh, Kulia, Kulia uh, is uh, also two, uh, so eight, eight, eight juice. Yeah. So six, eight, 14, 14 in total. 14 in total. So yeah. for the seven years, the Masha'Allah. Yeah, and so, so myself and Sheikh Rafan being very close, we, we travel together, we stay together, even our family stay together. So in the morning, in the bus, the, in the university bus. So we had a, we had a system, uh, if, for example, uh, um, Surah, Surah Tashu'ara, because that is one of the surahs that we did in uh, high school. Wow. So uh, uh, if I start, then if, uh, if I make a mistake, then Sheikh Rafan takes on. Okay. You know, if I don't make a mistake, I read the whole time up to the <laughs> university. You know, say it was good. You know, you don't, you don't want to make a mistake. So if Excellent. I make a mistake, Sheikh Rafan takes on. Uh -huh. If he makes a mistake, then I, I, I take, take on. Take yeah. on. Excellent. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. 
was Sheikh Abu Bakr Abdurrauf at the university at that time, or was he done we, already? We got him for his last year in in in, in uh, at Kula Quran. MashaAllah. And he was he was very well known. MashaAllah. In fact, uh, Sheikh Wallahi, <coughs> many students were asked, uh, especially from the West, America and Europe. Why is that you, South Africans? You, all of you can read so beautiful. Allah, Allah. Yeah, subhanAllah. <laughs> that, that's a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we must thank Allah and thank our forefathers, you know, for, 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 the, for, the, for the legacy that they've been left behind here in Cape Town. The way people of Cape Town and South Africa can read the Quran. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So Sheikh Bakr was, was well known. MashaAllah. Because he, he, as you know, up till now, he, he reads so beautifully. Nah. So even at functions at the university, in the hall, uh, they will ask Sheikh Abu Bakr to read. Out of all Masha. the students yeah, here, today. Uh, Sheikh's uh, uh, wife, Mu'allima, yeah. uh, was now there with Sheikh for the for the eight years. Yeah. And um, sh did she have any opportunity to study as well or to learn? Yeah. So Alhamdulillah. So um, uh, we, we uh, our classes uh, ran up to one o'clock, up to Dhuhr. Okay. So after Dhuhr, when I come home, I I have my lunch, and then Mu'allima I would go to class. Oh, alhamdulillah, she had class. alhamdulillah. She had different teachers, some from Saudi Arabia, some from Syria. MashaAllah. I, and I, I can share this with uh, Sheikh and, and the viewers that one of the lessons that I would remember, this, especially the Syrian teacher, said to, to them is when you make your salah, don't make your salah such in a haste. Yes, Allah. Don't read Surah Fatiha. Take your time and say, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. And you pause, think about it. Allah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. And I, I would always I would always appreciate that. Reflect. Uh, yeah, and reflect uh, that, yeah, subhanAllah. And so, um, and then, um, my, my wife also did the khifs. MashaAllah. Of course, he started with Sheikh Hanif Moos. As well, yes. Yeah. Uh, being one of the children of Imam Ismail Johnson. That's right, yes. yeah. yeah. So, so she started with Sheikh Hanif Moos. And then she completed, in fact, she, 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 she com completed until 29th Jews in Medina. Okay, yeah, MashaAllah. So uh, most of the khibs she did it at home, I would listen to her. Mashallah. And she had also teachers uh, listening to her. And, and uh, the khib uh, classes or activity for Mu'allima was basically with the Syrian uh, the teachers? Some, some with the Syrian. And some with yeah, the but both uh, um, uh, Sherfan listened to his wife, uh, ah. Fatima. And I was listening to my wife. Yeah. And, and uh, Sheikh, amazingly, and I think uh, this I can say, especially with the mothers, my, my eldest daughter, Halima, both um, she and my second eldest Zahra, they were three years old when they could read the Quran. Wow! So my wife is like Imam Ismail, is a strict oh, teacher. Oh, yeah, yes, and, and she was, she didn't eat them, but she was she always had a big uh, a spoon next to, next to. <laughs> <laughs> but at the, wallahi, it the must age just of, be visible at there. the age of three years, wallahi, wow. they could read the Quran. Mashallah. Three years old, alhamdulillah. So it just proved that it, it can it be done. It can be done. It just can uh, be done, yeah. depends on your dedication, dedication the amount of time you put in. Yeah, input, nah, yeah. So mothers must have make a lot of time for the children, inshallah. Mm. So now, alhamdulillah, Sheikh had uh, the studies completed and the yeah. whole experience in Medina. Yeah. And uh, graduated, alhamdulillah, and, yeah. and the wife, and you return. Yeah. Um, and I know Sheikh is back in, in the area there. Mm -hmm. By this time, Imam Ismail Johnston had passed on already. No, no, it no. Was still, uh, uh, alive? Was still, Imam was waiting for me and Shah wow. to come home. Wow, wow, but wow. Imam was still holding the fort. Yeah, Allah. In that difficult, you know, uh, state, uh, state of, of, of his health. Ah. Yeah, so, so what happened then? Because I know there was a time when Sheikh, uh, Sheikh yourself and Sheikh Irfan were co imams at so, the So that's right, yeah. So, so they were waiting. Uh, Imam was waiting for us, and the people of Saris did knew that we are coming back. And Sheikh Irfan being from Surrey State and me also being from Surrey State, Pramus Park, and also learning, I, I mean, my, my first learning, uh, real real learning and motivation, it came from Surrey State Masjid, you know. So I was also a young Mu'allim at the Madrasa in Surrey State Masjid. MashaAllah. Yeah, Mu'addin first and then Mu'allim mu and teacher, you know, and also led Salat al and, you know. This is all before Medina. Before Medina, oh, yeah. So, so. Uh, uh, myself and Sheikh Rafan, we became Imams of, of Sari State Masjid, yeah. A and then, of course, um, I heard that they, they, they're looking for somebody in Portland. And funny, uh, whenever I went to Mitzvah's Plain, uh, my heart was uh, attracted to this place, Portland. So I would, I would if I'm in Beacon Valley or Tavosek, or I, I would go to Portland's Masjid, and I would just wait for the Salah. 
And then uh, some of the committee members uh, came to me and said, Chef, there's a, a post, there's a post there. There's a post there. And so I, I applied. I consulted with my parents. I consulted with Sheikh Nazim Muhammad, uh, then president of the MCC, and sure. all of them, they motivated. Only Sheikh Irfan was very upset. Shame. Yeah, he was very upset, yeah. And he said that, uh, Sheikh, okay, I'll give in, but on one condition. If I pass on, you must come back to Sari yes, Stiglitz. <laughs> <laughs> so we make the for long life for Sheikh Irfan. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, then Sheikh, I, I moved to Portland, and, I, and I, I, looking back, I, I think it was a good decision, Alhamdulillah. No, sure. I, I, um, we also uh, moved to Portland around 84, mm. 84. And I can remember the change mm. that occurred in the entire area mm. when Sheikh started with the Imama yeah. at, at the Masjid. It was around uh, 88, 88, 88, 89. Yes. So I, I, I just completed Hivd uh, yeah. in 87. Uh, Mm -hmm. And then um, back to school, mm -hmm. and then uh, my father and, and, and grandfather, when Sheikh Tim started, we would go there every day and especially look forward to the to the Maghrib prayer because of the Nasiha after That's Maghrib. Right, yeah. And the Masjid was used to be packed, packed yeah. like a Jumu'ah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Week nights. Yeah. Like a Jumu'ah. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's also Sheikh uh, Allah, may Allah protect you uh, for many good years ahead still. Uh, but it's also Allah, Allah also granted you. Uh, yeah. the, the height and all in the past chamber yeah. and you used to dress beautifully and the imam was always there yeah. as well and and it's, it's all the, it's the package yeah and um, uh, my grandfather then said no where way, way, way madrasa is concerned i have to go there mm -hmm. in the afternoon and sheikh's uh, brother-in-law uh, brother abdullah, abdullah uh. was uh, my first teacher there at the Ashallah. masjid and um, uh, used to, to, to assist me with the revision, my ah. own revision of the, of the Hiv. Ah, I can remember up until the last when my grandfather was, uh, was ill, yeah. uh, he would still want to go for the Jumu'ah at least. Mm. And we had to help him, carry him yes. from the house to the car, car to the masjid out, and he would just be the happiest just to have been there for the Jumu'ah. Mm -hmm. So he changed everything and it was a good mm. move. And may Allah accept uh, Sheikh's effort Amin. and... Uh, Amin commitment and service to the community at yeah. large. So, but in that time, yeah. Sari Estate was approximately, how long was one she? Year, she one, year. One, full year, one full year. And then Portland's began. That's right, so yeah. 88, 89. But Sheikh had a concern regarding yeah. the memorization of the Quran still. Yeah. Sheikh had completed 14 uh, Jews day in Medina yeah. and Sheikh wanted to come Complete to do the rest. Hips, yeah. What then happened? So, so um, I heard that Sheikh Abu Bakr Najjar, Rahmatullah Alayhi, was a person, if you want to get into the Al-Azhar in Egypt, then you must speak to Sheikh Bakan Dajjar. And he was the link. He was. So I went to Sheikh Bakan Dajjar and said, Sheikh, uh, I would love to complete my khifs in Egypt. Salam. So Sheikh said, no, 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 no. You first complete your khifs here. Uh -huh. And then I arrange for you to go to Egypt. I said, Sheikh, but, but this I was when? This was now Sheikh was Imam at Portland uh, already? Imam at Portland, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, already three years uh, or four years Imam in Portland. But I, I was very eager to complete my hips. And so, uh, so, so, so I said, Sheikh, uh, I, I can't do it here. I'm, I'm, I'm Imam, and you know, family. and Imam was, uh, Sheikh was not all busy Imam was. He said, no, my, 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 my kind, my child, listen to me. Wow. If you want to, if you want to complete the Quran, you must dedicate at least three hours per day. Yes, Allah. Whether there is janaza, whether there are sick people, that three hours belongs to the Quran. Allahu Akbar. The janaza can wait, everything can wait, that is your time. So he said to me in Arabic, لو كان حفظ القرآن سهلا لحفظ كل حمار في الشارع And the translation is, if uh, the memorization of the Quran had to be easy, then every donkey in the city would have memorized. Yes, so, so, so it's not for every person, it's for dedicated people oof, for the Quran, oof, oof. subhanallah. So I'll co I, I continue to, 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 uh, to, 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 to look for how I can complete. So one day, uh, my wife, she, there was a certain uh, uh, a halal restaurant in Cape Town that my wife liked to, you know, so I took her there. And uh, I, I, one of the children, Ayra Muhammad Zainuddin was with us, you know. So I said to my wife, I'm just gonna, t I, I knew at that time that Sheikh Salih Abadi doesn't take any more students. It's finished. Sheikh is retired now. I said to my wife, I'm just going to try, man. I'm just going to go up Long Market Street and ask Sheikh, is it possible? Allahu Akbar. Sheikh, I came running out. I hit on the, on the window of my, of my wife, of the, of the car. 
She said, what's going on? I said, Sheikh, accept that. Sheikh is going to teach me. <laughs> Allah, Akbar, subhanallah. And what a beautiful journey from that day onwards. Wow, wow, uh, every wow. day I would leave from Mitzvah Spring to go to Long, Long Market Street from Mondays to Thursdays. So Sheikh wasn't in Weinberg at the time yet? No, Sheikh was in Long Market Street, yeah. Town, there. Town, town, wow. yeah. Yeah, subhanallah. And Sheikh, it was, it was a beautiful journey. It was just a great honor. Mashallah. To be in the presence of Sheikh Salih Abad. And I, uh, as I speak now, I almost want to cry. <laughs> uh, and and, and, and uh, Sheikh was so respectable, you know. If, for example, if I come in in the morning, Sheikh would open the door, Sheikh would Sheikh stop on, and Sheikh is kufia. But when it comes to time for Pacha, Sheikh would put on Sheikh's Imam. Wulsal. Yeah, Wulsal. Sheikh would, uh, won't teach me without a Wulsal, without, <laughs> without uh, the Imam. Subhanallah. And, and, and I Sheikh had a method, Sheikh Abadi. Mm. He would recite every ayah yeah. for the student. Yeah. Was there a different system you had with Sheikh? No, no, be, be, because, subhanAllah, uh, uh, and I want to say it, Sheikh, and I don't know how to say it, Sheikh had so much respect for others, and especially for people that have learned the deen of Allah, no. that Sheikh didn't want to use that. Uh, I would have, I would have, I would have preferred Sheikh being so strict with me, like <laughs> Sheikh has been with Sheikh Fuad, uh, uh, um, Khabir, for example, and, and Imam Abdul Rahman Sali. But of course, Sheikh had so much respect, subhanAllah, no. for a person that has studied, no. and especially if you studied in Medina, Munawwara, no. subhanAllah. So Sheikh was very calm with me. You know, so uh, I, I had to, I had to uh, learn my uh, makra per day, Mashallah. and I would read to Sheikh. Wow. And, and then Sheikh would read, read to me, and then, then uh, uh, the next lesson, and then I, I would go home. Oh, so he did recite as yeah, well, the that's next right, lesson? Yeah, ah, yeah. good. Yeah. And then Sheikh would have to mark, stops and starts. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the rape and rape and all that. Yes, yes, yes. And it must have been a very personal and uh, close uh, relationship that developed. Very close relationship. I, I would always notice how Sheikh makes Sheikh Salah to Duha, yeah. 10 raka'ats or yes, 12 raka'ats, and uh, you know. Daily. Yeah, and then uh, in, in between, Sheikh reads uh, was uh, soft, softly, but but the uh, Balin comes about out. <laughs> yeah, subhanallah. Uh, I was fortunate to travel with Sheikh uh, Sheikh Saleh Abadi uh, on a few occasions, mm. and I also noticed how disciplined he was with himself even. Mm. And then I realized that in public there, there were times when he could he could be firm and mm. disciplined with others. Mm. Because he was disciplined with himself, no one could point a finger at him. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Everything that he called towards, he was implementing, yeah. and that was outstanding. So, Sheikh Alhamdulillah, the journey then, Sheikh was Imam, mm. other activities, commitments, uh, Sheikh was involved with the MGC also already at that time. Yeah, but, yeah. But on a daily basis, Sheikh was going to, the Sheikh, to Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Abadi to, right, yeah. to uh, complete the Hajj. Sheikh managed to complete by him. I managed to complete the Hajj, and about, say, six months or a year after that, <coughs> Imam Amin, that is in Australia. Yes. Imam Amin Ahmed. Yes. He, he was at the AGM, and there was a Khatam al Quran at one of the Masajid. So I was elected as chairman of the MGC. That time I was president and chairman. So Imam Amin came to the Khatam and said, Baruz, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Ibrahim Gabriel is elected as chairman. Sheikh Salia Bayad made a Ya Allah, ta'akha di Qur'an. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Qur'an. <laughs> He's not going to have time for the Qur'an, yeah. subhanallah. That look at, look at the concern. concern. <laughs> look at the concern, subhanallah. Yeah. Who, were, were, there, were there no other students there by Sheikh Abadi in the time when Sheikh was there? Mm. So I would always meet Mawlana Asim Qasim. Okay. And uh, Hafiz Razin Gopal. Ah, you know, so, uh, doctor. Uh, and because of that, uh, 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 we have an amazing relationship. Over the years <laughs> afterwards. Dr. Yeah. Razin completed Hayd, I know, by Imam Shams, I think, but I think he went for revision for by Sheikh Abadi. He went for the revision, yeah. And Mullah Hashim Kassim also Mala got Hashim him. Mullah Hashim was also there. Yeah. Like so colleagues by the same yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay, but um, uh, the, the, the experience with Sheikh Saleh Abadi, that was now in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, and over the years then, I can remember also, uh, when I returned in 97 mm. and Imam Siraj Willenberg yeah. at the Masjid, also yes. a student of Sheikh Saleh Abadi's, and then the Taraweeh with Imam Siraj at the Masjid, and then there were, there were the Sunday Tilawats. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, people won't realize now, not only mm. because of the two years of COVID, yeah. but over the last years it, ha it has lessened 
to a certain extent the amount of tilawats. There was a time in the 90s and early 2000s where it was a weekly thing, Mashal. regular, every Mashal. week, different Mashal. areas. And I know Portnas had an, an annual, That's right. uh, what you call it, khatam yeah. as well, with all communities involved and we invite certain yeah. of the mashayikh or certain of the groups yeah. to come and complete. And mm. uh, there were many occasions when Sheikh Abadi, mm. I sat with him at the masjid there yeah. uh, at Portland, Portland completing yeah. the khatam al Quran. But um, uh, Sheikh Abadi never had any children of his own. Yeah. Never had. Yeah. Um, and he, he, he would always, I heard him say on more than one, than one occasion that uh, his students are his children. That's right, yeah. And uh, for a person who was dealing with Quran, but dealing with people because of Quran all his life, mm. we could see that wisdom it came through, how he dealt with, with different types of people. SubhanAllah. You would think a man of his age and, and the elderly mm. um, sit in their ways and doing things in a particular manner without uh, without exception mm. but he, he recognized even though sheikh was younger than, than yeah. he recognized sheikh had studied that's and right. sheikh's imam yeah. and how to handle differently yeah. that uh, yeah. that you don't get in books that you yeah. learn yeah. in character emotional in intelligence emotional intelligence yes emotional uh, intelligence, yeah. so and speaking uh, about it sunday sheikh may, may allah grant that that, that uh, uh, is going to be revived in Cape Town. Okay. And uh, coming back to uh, our part-time uh, class with uh, Sheikh Hanif Moos. Yes. So uh, one of the things that Sheikh Hanif Moos introduced was on a Sunday morning, we would read um, uh, those, the, 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 the ajazah that we have memorized. Like at that time, we memorized the first juice and the second juice, and the 28 juice, Qadda Sami Allah. Okay. So I must admit, Sheikh, because of the barakah of every Sunday going to different, so. Uh, one one week at our family's house, oh. and uh, uh, and then to, for example, uh, but Nassim Williams, his daughter, uh, uh, um, Imam uh, wife, Fadia. Oh, mashallah. Uh, their house. <coughs> yes, uh, Harith's father, Imam Nassim. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so I must admit, Sheikh, and, and, and the reason why I'm saying that, because we've got this program so that people can benefit. Yes. I must admit that, that my best ajazah that I remember is the first juice, second juice, and the 28th, and the 28th juice. juice. Because of that repetition, because yes. we had to, you, you had to be ready. <coughs> For example, if this Sunday we're going to read the first two juice, no. uh, and if it's not going to say you're going to read the second makkah, like prepare you before the time. Yeah, yeah. You, you must, must know everything. You must know everything. Yeah, understand. And you recite in your turn. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. It was an outstanding practice. <coughs> outstanding, outstanding. And, and the of the course, there was uh, everybody gave a, a nice lunch also. No. <laughs> so it was a liquor for the young people. Also yeah, also yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I think these are very uh, important initiatives or yes. practices, yes. you know, and, and especially in today's time for our children because uh, there are so many challenges, the Allah Allah. cell phones and uh, other technologies. Yes. And yes. So uh, these type of practices would, would, would do them very good. No. You know? Looking for alternatives <coughs> as That's well. That's right, yeah. Um, the the, the Hidh classes mm. that uh, I managed to, to start mm. Started in Sheikh's Masjid, Bahrain and it started in '97. Last yeah. year was the 25th year. <coughs> Mashallah. Quarter yes. century. I can't believe it, Sheikh. And um, uh, Sheikh and the committee at the time opened uh, mm. the, the doors with open arms and open hearts, and lots came from the Sheikh's son. Sheikh mentioned earlier Zainuddin who's stu currently studying in Yemen, yeah. managed to complete uh, at the institution, and 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 Sheikh uh, is Abdul Basit the youngest son. Abdul Basit the youngest son, and yeah. he's Doctor Abdul he's Basit now, doctor now yeah. mashallah, and he also managed to complete Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And Sheikh's elder son, Sheikh Abdullah, yeah. also learned there, but he, he graduated now in Al Azhar Al recently. Alhamdulillah. May Allah accept them and all the other uh, children for yeah. the khidmah of Deen and, and service and of Quran and, and, and make them even uh, a greater means of honor for yourself and Malima Aisha in this dunya and akhirah. Um, the, the program is focused on the Quran mm. and our relationship with the Quran, yeah. uh, <coughs> scholars and reciters and teachers. Sheikh has so many other hats that Sheikh has mm. worn over the years, yeah. uh, which we, we would require <laughs> some independent mm. uh, uh, program, program or, or discussions interview. from oh, Allah yeah. bless. But um, it, it's important that um, viewers see, mm -hmm. along with noticing Sheikh or knowing Sheikh from the president of the MGC, and whatever other position in the MGC mm -hmm. or in the community or as Imam in Portland's Masjid mm -hmm. uh, and lecturing in different places and teaching yeah. in different places but also to know that the foundation is the Holy Quran yeah. and the love for the Holy Quran and sacrifice for the Holy Quran mm -hmm. scholars have, have come and spoken and they said whatever they've experienced in life mm -hmm. they could see that Allah's favor 
mm. was such that because of attachment to the Quran, doors were open that they did not expect. Interacting with individuals that they had he only heard of mm. and individuals that then mm. left mm. marks in their lives because <coughs> of the Quran. Mm. The uh, Sheikh uh, Nazim al marhum had, uh, had a huge impact on Sheikh's life. Yes. But, and Sheikh's interaction with him was also because of tafsir classes and that's Quran. Right. Likewise right. Imam Ismail, likewise yeah. Sheikh Amin Fakir, yeah, yeah. all the others, Ya Rabbi. So um, we have to return to Quran. If, if Sheikh were to um, dig into Sheikh's heart mm. as an overall <laughs> advice mm. for the Muslim community in general, mm. not, not specifically for people who are currently students of Quran, but for them and for the general public, mm. what would Sheikh love to share with, with yeah. the viewers? Uh, Sheikh Ismail, <coughs> I think that's, uh, that's a very uh, pertinent and important question or, or topic to discuss because um, this Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad is Allah. the greatest Ummah. Ya uh, and, 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 and I feel that um, this Ummah has taken a, a, a slight dip down. And the reason why we've taken a dip is because generally uh, the Muslims have neglected the Quran. <coughs> and this Ummah is going to rise again. But they're only going to rise again if we come back to the Quran. No. So our advice to everybody is to, to make time with the Quran. Allah is not asking us um, Afala yaqra'oon al Quran. Don't they read Allah. the Quran? Because you're supposed to read the Quran. Allah is asking Afala yatadabbaroon al Quran. Yeah. Don't people make special time to ponder over the words of Allah subhanahu no. wa ta'ala? A Muslim, <coughs> you can't live without the Quran. Yeah, you know, Sam? This is the, what's most probably the greatest ni'mah that Allah has granted us. You know, yeah. to be the ummah of the Quran. Yeah. Imagine if you read the Quran, <coughs> you are reading the words of Allah. Yeah, what an honor to read the words of Allah. <coughs> what an honor to, to have the, 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 the whole Quran or the, all the words of Allah in, 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 your, in, your, in your chest, subhanAllah. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think there is a greater honor in the world than to memorize the Holy Quran, subhanAllah. Yeah. So um, the, the, the Nabi Muhammad made it clear, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, ahlul Quran wa ahlullah. The people of the Quran, they are the family. Allah's got no family, but yeah. Allah considers the people of the Quran that they are the family of Allah, and not only the, the family of Allah. They are the most special people. Yeah. And and they're not only going to be the most special here in this world. They're going to be the most special in the akhirah. So our, our motivation is really for the sake of Allah and for the sake of the ummah and for the sake of humanity that each and every Muslim must make time for the Qur'an. You know, there are many challenges, there are very, very, a lot of distractions, but we must realize that our success lies with the Holy Qur'an, subhanAllah. Yeah. Our respect for the Qur'an, the, the, you know, um, my, my beloved mother, <coughs> she was about three years old when her mother died. Yeah, Rab. And so a uh, grandmother, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, took charge of her. And uh, she called her grandmother Mema. So Mema, I'm just giving an idea of how people, they didn't have much knowledge, but the respect they had for Quran. So when my Mema comes to Janaza and, and people read the Quran and other people are talking, <laughs> she would say, Can you learn the mono? Can't you keep us quiet? Can't you listen to the Quran? Ya Rab. Why didn't you stay at home? Ya Rab. Yeah. So that is the honor and the respect that we must have for the Quran, subhanAllah. And, and once a person gives honor and respect to the Qur'an, then Allah subhanahu will elevate you, subhanAllah. So our motivation for all our viewers and all our brothers and sisters is, please make time for the Qur'an. That will be your success. And, um, and, and even um, um, sitting with Sheikh Salih Abadin, I've heard so many times that even the people, even those people that were always with the, with the, with the Havi Jamaat, yes. you know, <laughs> Uh, every Sunday they would go with, with pick them up, pick them up, sort give, out the venue, yeah, the food, go fetch them. Sheikh Salih Abadi's the hour was always, always motivation was that inshallah Allah would uh, elevate the Ahlul Quran, but those people were, were all, always accompanying Allah will inshallah elevate them also in the Akhirah. Yeah, Rabbi, Amen. Jazakallah khairan for that, Sheikh. Um, Sheikh mentioned Sheikh's uh, mother. Marhuma, and uh, I just got a flashback of Sheikh's father. Mm. Well, there was a time when, um, when teaching in Portland and the students reached a certain amount of work, 
we we also had uh, like s- some sleepovers at the masjid and mm. recite extra or we, we would we would revise at certain of the students homes and i remember when it was at the uh, sheikh's place or at the uh, Aji Ismail's place, Sheikh's father made a point of being there and he would be there early and he would be reciting with yeah. and he would be listening with and I can remember the joy on his face yeah. just to be part of that gathering. They, yeah. they truly loved the, the, the word of Allah. They loved the Quran, yeah. So, and so my father also did part-time gifts with Sheikh Anif Moos. Wow. And he would travel from Primus Park to Weinberg. Wow. And then uh, every night my father and mother would read Surah Hadith. Allahu Akbar. And then my father would say to uh, uh, Sheikh Anif, Sheikh, how come is this Surah so swah? <laughs> So Sheikh Hanif said, well, why is it so difficult and heavy? So Sheikh Hanif said, because it's hadith, it's, it's iron, it's easter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subhanAllah. And speaking about the mother again, the, uh, um, my mother also loved the Quran, subhanAllah. My, uh, my mother always, always tell us that she taught my father Surah Yasin. <laughs> <laughs> my father couldn't batcha, afterwards he could batcha, but alhamdulillah. <laughs> and I, I didn't know until recently, uh, and that is one okay. Once again, I'm speaking now to the mothers and our young sisters, the dua of a mother. My, my mother was on Hajj in 1968. Wow. I was 13 years old. Masha'Allah. My mother asked, uh, I, I, know, I don't know if Sheikh knows Titi Patel here from Kensington, Masha'Allah. their mother. So my mother went on Hajj uh, with the Patel family. Okay. You know, Mullah Abdul Khalik's father in law. Okay, yes. Uh, so the Khadija's Patel, yes. And this is Khadija's grandmother. Okay. So on Arafah, my mother asked, um, Mama, I would love some of my children to become scholars of deen. Wow. But a dua, what dua, what dua must I make? Wow, 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 wow. And she most probably made the dua on the day of Arafah. Yes, Allah. So I, I'm just saying again, you know, the dua of a mother, subhanAllah. And the concern for the children that they must have deen they beyond have anything deen, else. Yeah, on the day of Arafah, and dua, dua of Arafah, oh. subhanAllah. And uh, we are also thinking about uh, the mother of Imam Bukhari. Allah, Allah. Is, is, uh, be, he, he being blind, and Allah she Allah. made dua, oh, Ya yeah, Allah, please grant my, subhanAllah. And, the, and, and she saw Nabi Ibrahim, Allah granted us to saw, see Shina Nabi Ibrahim. Ibrahim in the dream. Yes, sir. And Nabi Ibrahim said, Allah has granted your child, he's able to see now. To see and he became the greatest muhaddith. One, one of a kind. Uh, one of no a kind. Other the the like barakah like of the dua of a mother, that's my emphasis, the no. barakah of the dua of a mother. So make mothers make du'a for your children. Allah must grant him to love the Quran. Yeah. Grant, um, ask Allah, Ya Allah, at least one of my children will grant him to become hafiz the Quran. One of my great motivations, Mawlana, when um, Sheikh, when I started Khifz, my mother said, Alhamdulillah, now Allah is also going to crown me the day of Qiyam. Allahu Akbar, so Allahu Akbar. Allah. And I, I heard also from Dr. Ayman, one of the great Qura of our time. No, one of his great motivations, why he? wanted to become Hafiz al-Qur'an because he heard the hadith of Rasulullah that Allah is going to honor and crown the parents of the day of Qiyamah. That was his greatest motivation. And he, he look at today, Dr. Iman is wow. one of the great uh, no. Khufat and Qur'an of the world today. No. Subhanallah. Sheikh is referring to Dr. Iman Rushdi Suwaid, he's a Syrian scholar, but he is currently based in Jeddah, known for his in-depth research and he's, he's an authority really in Qiraat and Tajmeer al Qur'an. Uh, Sheikh, on that note, uh, we, we would love if Sheikh could oblige us inshallah. with the recitation of some ayat of the inshallah. Quran. Any ayat and then conclude with a dua, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعَدُونَ نَحْنُ أَوْلِيَاؤُكُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ نزلا من غفور الرحيم ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى 
الله وعمل صالحا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين صدق الله العظيم أنتم جزاكم الله وصدق رسول النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين الحمد لله so just before, before the du'a, Sheikh, um, uh, we have made it our theme in Portland's Masjid this year. Uh, our theme for this is Thumma Staqamu. MashaAllah. And then they have, they live a life of complete obedience to Allah. Because Masha'Allah. in this ayah that I've just read, Allah promises us that if we live a complete life of submission to Allah and obedience, at the time of our death, ya Rab. Allah will send malaika ya Rab. to tell us, La takhafu, don't fear, Allah. Wa la tahzanu, don't grieve, don't ya be Rab. sad. Wa abashiru bil jannah. Ya Rab. We, Allah sent us to tell you, you are going to jannah. Ya that is because of thumma staqamu. Live a life of complete obedience to Allah. Subhanahu. May Allah grant us a life of complete submission and obedience ameen, to Allah. Ameen, ameen. Jazakumullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil mursaneen. Sayyidina wa habibina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma inna nas'aluka ridaka wal jannata wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wal nar. Allahumma nawwir kulubana bi nuri al-Qur'an. Wa zayyin akhlaqana bi zinati al-Qur'an. ونجنا من النار بشفاعة القرآن وأدخلنا الجنة يا الله بكرامة القرآن اللهم اجعلنا يا الله من أهل القرآن الذين أهلك وخاصتك يا مولانا يا رب العالمين اللهم يا الله يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا وقلوب أولادنا وقلوب المسلمين على دينك اللهم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا وقلوب أولادنا وقلوب المسلمين على طاعتك يا رب العالمين ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد آل سيدنا محمد وأصحاب وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون سلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين رب العالمين أن ذات نجب سي شكرا كثيرا نجزاكم الله خيرا تشيخ إبراهيم Gabriel, so once again, affording us this opportunity. Yeah. We benefited a lot, and yeah, shukran for allowing us in a bit into Sheikh's life, or one aspect of Sheikh's life. And I hope it has inspired at um, least one or, or many of our um, viewers. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And we make dua that Allah accepts all the service Sheikh does um, for the community, and that which Sheikh's wife, Malima Aisha, and the family, the sons, the daughters, all do for the community. And that uh, we all become deserving of the Quran's intercession Amen. in Allah's Amen. court in the Akhirah. Amen. 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 Shukran again, Shaykh. Jazakumullah khairan. And on that note, we say shukran to all our viewers. Uh, join us again in our next session of uh, the Quran and its people. Looking forward to having you with us. Keep well. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The world is a tough place, and every day we are tested in many ways. But when we have faith, and when we believe, it gives us the hope and the courage to carry on. So believe that you can make a difference. Believe there is a better tomorrow. Believe it's possible. Pay your zakah, and let's build a better tomorrow.